So Shopify has a really mm, robust inventory system, I guess is what you could call it. I can I can fulfill orders from my cell phone. So that's the difference between GoDaddy. You can't do that from like a GoDaddy site. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one thing. It's just like super uber user friendly. So it will show you, let's see. So let's go back to product. So just like what we just did with um, GoDaddy, to do that in Shopify, you you it's a quite a different inventory process because um, this is usually for like warehouses and drop shippers and people that have like, you know, 7,900 items, 980 items, like, and they got 15 variants and they have like 90 different types. And so you have to have, um, you know, like more, um, more memory and bandwidth to like upload all that information. So so like, let's say just this dress um, and, and you can see it's connected to 11 out of 15 sales channels. So sales channels are the, the Shopify, uh, sales channels would be like Instagram, Facebook, Google, Pinterest, um, uh, Google stores, all the, you know, Amazon, eBay. So this also connects well and better than than Shopify or than um, Go, Go, uh, GoDaddy because it has direct integrations with like eBay, sales funnels, Buzzfeed, you know, Wish, Amazon, Buy Button, Messenger. It just it just has every single place you would want your product to show up integrated into this this platform. So. While adding a product, you can add the description, add the different, you know, images, all the different sizes. You customize your pricing here. Then you like add all the collections that you want it to show up in. And then here's your SEO for the search engines. So it's kind of like you do it all in like one spot. Um, and then, um, you go to your inventory and it will hold like tens of thousands of items, like, like an insane amount. Um, you can see, a, uh, you can, you can command it to do things like when there's zero inventory, stop selling it. Um, I'm, I'm doing a huge cleanup right now. So a lot of my stuff looks funny, but, um, there's, there's a bunch of, uh, so like one, oh, this is my new collection, my LGBT collection to help, help, help uh, the community. Um, so yeah, it just has more. So let, let's go to the app because that's what you're asking about. So this is just completely built for people that sell stuff online. Like those Weebly and like, um, you know, GoDaddy, they, they'll do some e-commerce stuff, but they're really not built to sell stuff online. They're, they're built to have a landing page and a web presence. So um, if you look at apps, so the apps, this is also an app-based platform. So it takes all these apps to run this thing. Like you just can't get a Shopify and it comes loaded with everything. You actually have to add the apps and program all the apps to one, do your shipping, to import your product, to import to Facebook, to um, connect to your payment processing. It's all based on apps. Um, you know, marketing apps, video apps, um, Is that integration. <laughs> Any questions? I thought I heard a question. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a whole um, class in itself. 
really, I mean, it would take. Yeah, that's fine. To, yeah, to build a Shopify, it's like, um, you know, it would be like a five week course to really build it right. Um, so that's why I go to GoDaddy because it's pretty much um, does what you want with no explanation. You're specifically doing it for um, like general e-commerce. If you want to start with like a hundred products, gotcha. it's doable. But the other thing is, um, um, the marketing is really hot rod here in, in, in Shopify. It literally pushes all your product to like 25 places with one click with, with, with GoDaddy, you have to link the products to the social media sites and then integrate. And then only if they accept that GoDaddy site, will it integrate into your shop on the other platform. But Shopify is like global leader. So everybody except Shopify products. Um, so, yeah, so that's really the difference because it's, it's, um, custom, customized specifically for e-commerce. So. How um, is the transition if you want to start off with GoDaddy and then, you know, change Shopify? Was there just like a couple days of downtime? because you could get it completely ready on Shopify and just, how does that process work? Yeah, so I would say you would wanna give yourself like a month or two lead time, actually depending on how big the source or, or how many products you have. Hmm. So the most time consuming part is updating the inventory and if you have it all on Excel and it's CSV, then you can upload your products through Excel and you never have to key in all the information. But let's say you have, I'm talking to Ricky, but Rick, that was you, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's say you have a tincture of CBD, you have vape CBD, you have edible CD, CBD, um, and you have a cookies, you have gummy bears. Um, but let's say your cookies, you have like five flavors of cookies. You have the chocolate chip cookies, you have the, you know, the snickerdoodle cookie, you have all these five different cookies. So you have to enter all the information for each kind of cookie plus the cookie and then all the details for each cookie. Gotcha. So um it's that's processed. <laughs> yeah. But as far and as then, the, then you yeah. want to make sure the mechanisms are working. So right. let's say you're like, oh it looks good, like awesome. But then you go to the buy button and it shows the product and they go to buy the product and it goes into the shopping cart, but then it won't let them pay, you know? So there's, there's like, you have to kind of go through a, a process of tests that you never just want to take a site down and have one that you just built three days ago and turn it back on. So you kind of need to like gradually, it would it'd be a very gradual process. Okay. You need to reconnect all the other platforms that your products are connected to. Because like Facebook, once you integrate Shopify and the products, it's connected to a live, um, what do they call it? Um, a live um, catalog. A catalog that that holds all your product items. And if you stop that and you have a new pro new catalog over here on your new site, it's not gonna know that. And so you have to rebuild that platform to make it connect to your new catalog. And then that takes like 24 hours minimum. And if it just goes smoothly enough, it will just automatically import those new items into your catalog. So it's a process. So I would definitely give yourself a month Okay. Um, how long is the site down for once you do, once you're finalizing everything? Um, I wouldn't take your site down until you fully tested it. So if you're, um, but it yeah. can be like 30 minutes. Like it's, it's not like a long process to get the site back up. Oh, you mean like take that.com and move it over to the other one? Yeah. I guess. Is that instant or 
Like how does that? Uh, no, it ha takes time to propagate. So sometimes that takes 24 hours. To okay. Okay. Yeah. There's lots of tricks of the trade. So if you want to do more e-commerce, I, you know, uh, definitely can help you find easier ways than building it from scratch. Um, because the apps are key and, and not a lot of people know exactly what the best app for shipping is or what the best app for um, uh, weight. Sometimes you have to have something that, uh, an app that connects the weight of the average shipping. And then, yeah, it's, it's just a... Oh, and you got to sift through all of them, huh? There's just like an app store. Yeah, um, it's an app store full of everything. So, wow. Yeah. Um, so, but you can definitely do a lot with, um, Shopify.